as we mentioned earlier, one of President Biden's first acts in office was to reverse the travel yeah. ban of visitors from several Muslim majority countries. Joining us now is David Shammy, a civil rights attorney. David, by the way, is also a board member of the Arizona chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. Thank you so much for being here, David. Thank you for having me. So what message do you think this sends, this being one of the president's first orders of business today? Well, I can tell you that Muslim Americans all across this country are relieved. Um, I had many family members who were skeptical about what we would see different between a Trump and a Biden administration as it pertained to Muslims. Um, and um, I was very impressed. Day one, uh, Joe Biden came out and he put an end to what was undoubtedly a racist uh, xenophobic uh, policy intended to really just stir up divide between uh, Americans based on religion. And so there's, there's a sense of relief in, in the community. And David, I want to continue on that point you were just making, because from your perspective, do you believe that this ban was put in place by the Trump administration to keep America safe? Or do you believe the Trump administration put this Muslim ban in place simply because these people were of Muslim faith? Well, look, I don't think there's any doubt that Donald Trump, our former president, used um, fear as a way to get things done. Um, you know, the statistics don't lie. The vast majority of terrorist attacks since 9-11 on this country have been committed by uh, U.S. citizens or people who are here as permanent residents. Uh, travel from, from abroad has, has really, since 9-11, has has not been an issue um, for, for security reasons. So on the same point, uh, David, you're a civil rights attorney. So what would you like to see coming up on the president's agenda? He's already started full force. So what would you like to see in particularly next so that we can break down or so that the country can start to rebuild uh, away from, you know, what a lot of people believe was very racist administration? Well, I can tell you that I, I broke out the T-shirt for you guys. Yes. I, I was going to wear a suit and tie, but I decided to go, uh, you know, session appropriate. But, um, you know, I think I think Joe Biden's on the right track. I mean, I have a cousin who is a, a surgeon who is here on a work visa, who's not even from one of the countries on the ban, but, you know, from a neighboring country and was afraid to travel back home to see family. We had tens of thousands of children, um, wives, husbands, parents who are unable to see family members over the past few years because uh, their family members were unable to travel here to visit. Um, so I think Joe Biden's on the right track. Um, as a civil rights attorney, I can tell you that the one thing I'm hoping for is uh, Washington, D.C. taking a very proactive step, the Justice Department taking very proactive steps to work on uh, some, of, some of our social justice issues here at home. Um, and I think, uh, you know, some of the executive orders signed by Joe Biden today have already started uh, us on the right path. Very interesting insight mm. there. Uh, David Shammy, thank you so much for, you, for your insight. And we hope to have you back on the show yeah. uh, for more thank discussions, for of course. Thank you so much.